Elsewhere east of Albuquerque, all that recent rain turned a motocross track into a lake. As News 13's Candace Hopkins shows us, the track turned what could have been a headache into a good time. I haven't gone swimming in a while, so it's definitely nice to get out in the water. Today was a perfect day for a dip in a country swimming hole. The problem? This isn't a swimming hole at all. It's actually the Sandia motocross track. God bless us with about a million gallons of water here this last week. Um, we, we estimated it uh, to be actually just a little bit over a million gallons of water. Um, we have several really large ponds and those obviously overflowed. Leaving portions of the track underwater. But while some may have just let Mother Nature win, the owner had a different idea. Well, we're going to use the water while it's here and once it dries up, we'll go back to motocross. <laughs> Throwing what they called a redneck swim party. And just letting people swim, boat, whatever they want to do. It was a big hit, despite all the mud. It's scary. Like the stepping in the mud and stuff is just really weird. I, I don't like it, but it's pretty fun out there. The water's like cold and hot, but I like it. It's pretty cool. It's definitely different. <laughs> like at first, when I see the racetrack, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to go race around. Many describe the water as swamp like, complete with a gator and a special surprise. There's even a 150 foot water slide and I couldn't resist the chance to try it out. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! It all added up to a once in a lifetime experience. At first I didn't want to go down the slide because I was like, I mean, am I going to get hurt? But then I tried it a couple times and it's great. Once the fun is over, the owners here plan to bring in heavy machinery to reroute the track in hopes of having their next race in two weeks. Candace Hopkins, KRQE News 13. The owner estimates the cleanup will cost at least $2,000, but he is hopeful they'll be ready for that next race.